Hey everyone, welcome. Have you ever tried the Maxxis Asagai? I rode this in the bike park last year and ever since I wanted to try it on my local trails, I finally got my hands on the 29er 2.5. So let's take a closer look at this. In the last couple of years, I run the Dissector up front or the Minion DHF. So I'm gonna look at the Asagai in comparison, mostly with the DHF, also in 2.5. And while the DHF that I have here is dual compound, the Asagai is actually the softer rubber, the 3C Max Terra, otherwise 2.5 WT or white trail. And as you will see in the back, that means that these tires are op optimized for 30 to 35 millimeter inner rim width. I have the DHF installed on an Arch MK3, but the Asagai, it's gonna go on a 30 millimeter ID. Otherwise, you see that this is a 60 TPI casing. They talk about world-class downhill performance. Obviously, they're referring to the design of this, which was done in conjunction with Craig Minar. And here you're gonna see that this tire is designed to work in all kinds of conditions, from loose over hard, medium loose wet, not necessarily mud, and not necessarily hard pack. This is supposed to have great corner control and decent rolling performance but not the best as usual the parameters of the tire are here on the drive side sidewall also you're going to see a directional arrow since uh, this pattern is directional this tire is supposed to be 63 millimeter width and just like all the other maxis tires this is made in taiwan now the weight of the tire i always thought that this must be a 1.2 1.3 kilogram tire to my big surprise, this tire just with the exo sidewalls comes up to 1,026 grams. Well, guess what? That Minion DHF, this one is 1,020 grams. So this Asagai is only six grams heavier than that. The Asagai is gonna be the front tire for my Santa Cruz Tallboy, where I have the 30 millimeter ID ICANN F930. A wheel set that I reviewed last year I think the discount code for these wheels is still active. Just look for that video. I've used these wheels with Recon 2.6. This is a pretty good tire if you're riding mellower hard pack trails. As usual with the Maxxis tires, it was very easy to install these and inflate them tubeless. I left them overnight at 35 PSI. Nice and bold profile. So let's take a look at the measurements of this tire. The DHF 2.5 comes up to 65 millimeters. That is the side knobs, the casing, it's a bit narrower, a bit over 60 in inches. That would be almost 2.4. And here are the knobbies. It's a true 2.5. On the Asagai, the widest portion is the side knobs as well, a bit over 2.4 casing. It's a bit tighter than that over here. In millimeters, the casing is at 61, and these side knobs would be at around 63.5. So on a 30 millimeter ID rim, the Asagai 2.5 measures almost 2.5 right from the get-go. With a rim height of 25 millimeters, here at the top of the knobs, we're measuring 85 millimeters. So 60 millimeter height tire plus knobs, that makes for a pretty good volume overall as expected from a 2.5 tire. In the last couple of months, I tested the tire in all kinds of conditions from normal single track riding to gnarlier, faster, more terrain part like descents. And one thing that I can tell you is that this doesn't feel any draggier than something like a DHF. I know many complain about the rolling resistance of the Asagai, but in my experience, it's hard to tell if it's any different than something like a sector or DHF, definitely when used on front. One outstanding quality of the tire though, has been grip. Any type of conditions, any speed, any kind of terrain, whether that was loose or hard, rock slabs or slightly wet, this tire performed very well, 
I guess as expected for a design in which Greg Minar had something to say. So with my video, I don't know if I convinced you to try, at least try the Maxxis Asagai. But if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. Also in the comments, let me know, are you using Maxxis? They're pretty expensive these days. Are you using DHF? Are you using the Asagai these days? Or are you actually willing to try something new, like the Delium tires that I reviewed not too long ago? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, Hope to see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.